Well, hey folks out there in Codger land, um, no filter here once again. And Rumbles and I are going out for a, um, a little bit of a just training hike, shakedown hike for uh, three days because we're jonesing to get back out into the into the AT area. But this trip, we're actually going to do um, the Benton Mackay Trail, the BMT. Um, we're going to start at Springer Mountain parking lot and take the AT up to the southern terminus of the Benton Mackay Trail and then head north from there. We plan to uh, do about uh, over the next three days, 38 miles on the Benton Mackay Trail. And we're gonna come out <clears throat> on Aska Road near the Tacoa River restaurant. Imagine that, we're gonna end our trip at a restaurant where we can get something to eat. So uh, Rumbles is behind me and um, we're just heading out of Woodstock, our hometown, and we're gonna drive up north, Blue Ridge, circle back, leave a car at the uh, Tacoa River restaurant and drive down and leave a car at the parking lot for Springer Mountain and then we'll start hiking from there so we'll get there in a couple hours and begin our day we're uh, we're really excited to get back out on the trail and we may have hit a great weather window for down here the rain pushed through last night um, and it looks really promising for the next three days so right now it's a little cloudy out there and stuff but I think it's gonna push through this morning and we'll be good so that's the basic scoop um, first time I've tried <clears throat> filming and driving but I'm not filming it's just in my little holder well happy trails and um, we'll talk to y'all in a bit take it easy Rumbles. Hey, hey, good morning. Where are we at? Well, we are on a forest service road headed to Springer Mountain. Um, actually, the roads are in pretty good shape. Much better than it has been in the past. Yeah, they, they must have uh, done a spring grading yeah, already. I think they did. I think they did. Yeah. But, uh, it's about, about six miles back from the main road. Yep. It's like six or seven miles in off a yeah. double head gap road. Yeah. So we're doing something different. We're um, we're going to be hiking on the Benton McKay Trail, the BMT. Yeah. We've always come up here and done the AT. Um, and done a, maybe a little bit of the Benton McKay up here, but never as much as what we're going to do. Um, but anyways, it's uh, it starts at the kind of the same place that the AT starts. So we got to hike up to Springer Mountain. They're close to it. I think the Bit McKay Trail cuts off right before the top. So what was that, Joe? About a, about a mile up, point nine. Yeah, up? point yeah, point eight up, and then we get before you get to Springer Mountain is where the Bit, Bit McKay hooks in, and that is McKay or McKay? What Bit McKay? Bit McKay? I said I said McKay, and then some guy told me McKay, and so McKay, McKay, potato, potato. Okay. I'll go with Mackay, you go with Mackay. Oh, Mackay, between the two of us, uh, somebody will look strange at us. We'll be right half the time. Or maybe if we have a signal, we'll figure it out somewhere along the way. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a little bit overcast today. A little sprinkles on the way here. But We had some great views of the sky with the way the cloud formations yeah. were coming through. And yeah. But the next couple days look like they're going to be pretty good. And based on my last trip... <laughs> I don't know if I know how to hike without water and rain and all that. So, Joe, you're going to have to help me. Yeah, and, you know, it's it's probably with good that Christy and Mr. Freeze aren't with us because they always bring the rain. I they always bring the rain with them. I not say anything, but... And this one, I, I skipped those ones. Now we're, <laughs> we're back to some good weather. <laughs> you're a fair weather hiker. I, for sure, when you're retired, yeah. You, uh, yeah. You, don't, you don't get out there in the nasty stuff if you don't uh, have to. So we're going to be gone or out here for about three days, um, about what, 40 miles-ish, 40-ish, yep. 40, 40, something like that. And so we'll be, um, I think today we're talking, what, 15, 16? Yeah, we may make it to the Tacoa River today, 
There's a beautiful suspension bridge there and some good camping spots. Uh, if we do if we do that, that'll set us up nice for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the um, the hard day. It's going to have if we do that, it'll give us 3,500 in a sense tomorrow, 2,500 today, and about 2,500 on the last day. So yeah. that'll balance it out a little bit. And in our heyday, when we were, we had our legs. That would be nothing. That would be nothing. But, <laughs> but coming off the couch. Coming off the couch. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. It's a good way of helping get in shape for going back to the PCT. Oh, well, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, we are starting to try to ramp up a little bit. So we only got, what, about a month and a half. Yep. We'll be back out. All right. We're going to take you guys away from what the bouncing is here and we'll, we'll catch up with you when we get to the parking area happy trails happy trails all right so uh good morning we are uh springer mountain parking lot it's not the trailhead for springer mountain but it's the parking lot we'll backtrack um eight tenths of a mile going southbound on the at and that's where we're going to hit the Benton Mackay Trail. But God, man, it's just beautiful here. It's so green. It is. And yeah, nice and cool. What do we say? It's like 58 this morning. Yeah. So it's supposed to, uh, again, it's supposed to be a pretty nice day. I guess this afternoon it's supposed to start getting a little bit nicer. Yeah, so let's warm up and sunburn off. Yeah. So we're going to have a little fun today. We started making little bets along the way. And uh, so we our first bet was how many cars are going to be at the trailhead parking lot when we got here. And I said 10. He said 5. Two. So, but does closest win or closest win? I mean, closest you have, win. You have to carry the whiskey. <clears throat> I'm carrying the whiskey today. Yeah, but I'm gonna. <laughs> when I the next be all day, I can come up with another bet. Well, the other one was how many hikers we would see. We've already seen what I said there was going to be, which yeah. was two. Two. So you said three. I said so four. Well, I said four. I went ahead and said okay. three's kind of wimping out, yeah, just taking next. Be. So I went for four. Yeah. So uh, I think you're going to win that one. Yeah. Well, we might come up with some other interim bets and what this thing keep A very uh, exciting thing here. My new trekking poles. New trekking poles. Yes, inaugural trekking poles. Did you get them on uh, sale? I did. An yeah. REI sell and use my dividends and all that stuff. But, yeah. uh, I have to give a shout out to my REI ones I had. I did the through hike on the AT and did the PCT with them last year. Yep. And um, many and other miles in Many between. miles in between. They had yeah. 5,000 miles on them easy. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Overall, uh, they did me well. Right. So I'm hoping these black diamonds will do me. All right, well, let's um, yeah. we'll get started, and we'll see you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing down so I don't fall down. We'll... <laughs> yeah, let's not start that way. All right, but we'll see. We'll see y'all in a bit. Happy trails. Happy trails. Okay, Christy, June 10th. We're doing it's body cam. Yes, this is the Joe cam. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay. So hey guys, we're this is a great experiment we're having. We'll show you a picture of it later, but we're doing the. Dave has named it the Joe Cam. The Joe Cam. You two with a rubber band can <laughs> get a get like a body cam going. We're trying to find ways to, in a hand hands free environment, give you more trail shots. We're gonna do a uh, video of him taking a video. Yeah. <laughs> you can personally. You can, personally, and if you send me uh, fifteen dollars plus five bucks for postage and handling, I'll send you the rubber band that you can use. <laughs> All right, here we are looking at the Joe Cam. The Joe Cam. Look at that. Yeah. Now, are those special rubber bands? Yes, they are. I, some... it, I got it from the produce section at Kroger. You know, it came off the broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> broccoli bands. Broccoli bands. Yeah. But only you can only get them through the Joe store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Joe store. Yeah. If you look at the link at the bottom of our YouTube page, <laughs> and then if you click there, and then just you know either PayPal, Venmo, or you know a debit card, we'll get you uh, you know for fifteen dollars. That includes postage and handling. We'll get you a rubber band. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna take this to the Shark Tank. Yeah. We <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll talk to you all a little bit later. Happy trails. So this is the. Uh, hey, this this little hike from. The parking lot to Springer Mountain is great. It's only a mile, and you get to Springer Mountain. And it's, it's very heavily traveled. You'll see lots of folks. Uh, so definitely recommend you do it. So rather than bore you to tears, though, we'll shut this puppy down and uh, get back with you all in a bit. All right, we have come to the trailhead, the beginning of the Benton McKay, McKay, Ben McKay, McKay, Southern Terminus. 
Oh, how about that? That's yeah. a new sign. A new one. Looks yeah. good. And uh, again, Springer was just a little bit further up yeah, there, though. Two, two tenths of a mile that yeah. way. And Springer Mountain. Springer yeah. Mountain shelter is there. Yeah. All right. Well, uncharted territory. Well, actually, we've done this part before, this little yeah. bit. But, uh, and we have now we switched from the Appalachian White Blaze to the yeah. Bent Mackay. You see right above it like there, diamond. diamonds. Yeah. Diamonds are forever. Yeah. So. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go see what we can get into. Get her done. All right, man. Happy trails. All right, we are uh, about a mile into the trail. And uh, one of the nice things, we were a little bit concerned of whether or not it was going to be maintained. Again, Benton McKay is not as popular as the AT. But so far, it's been really good. Yeah, I've been uh, real happy with it. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they've, they've been through here recently and have been uh, cutting back weeds and so forth. So, so far, so good. We'll take it. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna keep marching on here. We're gonna try to do. Uh oh. Five, time is it time? Oh yeah, time for Joe Cam. Again. Time for Joe Cam. Stay tuned. Stay film tuned at eleven or nine thirty. <laughs> Talk to you a little bit. <laughs> Happy trails. Here we go again. Another round of Joe Cam. I have to get assistance from my buddy Rumbles. If it hadn't been for him, we would have just been uh, videoing my shirt. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll get it figured out. I can be trained. Well, I don't know if I can be trained. I can be pounded into submission, I guess. The trail's looking pretty good. Um, we've had a few places where the grasses were grown up pretty high and David likes to say you're going through a leg wash. Had a little bit of that, but the trail's been really good. You know, a lot of sections like this where they have knocked back the vegetation a little bit and the tread's pretty nice. You are kind of, so far, the green tunnel, just like the AT. It's been quite a while since I came through, but I thought there were a couple nice views between here and uh, Three Forks. And hopefully we'll run into them, but it may just be that I can't, my memory is based upon coming through in the spring and there wasn't a lot of vegetation to deal with. On a downhill slog now. We uh, we just had a discussion about the Joe Cam. We did, and uh, we heard from our marketing group and uh, they recommended instead of the Joe Cam, that we call it the Codger Cam. And uh, we, we, we predict that the sales will go through the roof. That's, that's really going to boost sales. Oh, the rubber band sales are yeah. just going to be, you know, yeah. st well stretched. We, yeah, we've got a good marketing team because you think about it, we, we only introduced Joe Cam maybe an hour ago. Yeah. And we've already moved on to something else. Yeah. I mean, they're all over this stuff. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, we'll that or it's, you know, what two old guys, that's all they get to think about yeah. <laughs> while they're hiking. Yeah. Why are we call yeah. the camera, man? Yeah. So, and so while we stopped, here's some really beautiful flowers. I'm guessing that looks like the right angle. I can't tell with the codger cam, of course. You got your fingers. <laughs> and fingers in a way? <laughs> How about now? Uh, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> real pretty though real pretty we, we got some work to do yeah we're, we'll work on this yeah. <laughs> all right more laughs later i'm sure y'all take care happy trail it's time for another episode of codger cam yeah <laughs> get your bottle in it get my bottle in there i can hold the bottle out of the way a little bit right. codger cam here we go engage <laughs> so we're in the uh Typical of this area, the green tunnel. A lot of uh, red dendron. Some of them have, uh, the mountain laurel, some of those have had the white flowers on them recently. You see a little, some of them laying on the ground. I remember when we did the AT, remember that, that, that period of time when we were hiking and they were just covering the trail? It was like somebody. Yeah, sort of like a welcoming mat. You can see them here; they're on the ground. And, oh, all right. Dangerous water crossing. Whew. All right. 
and scope it out here. Yeah. Right. This will be the first time that we've used the Codger Cam during a water crossing. I'm not going to give you anything exciting. It doesn't look like. Whoop. Well, it's a footprint. Somebody's been through here not too long ago. Nice little campsite. I like it. And there's more of those flowers on the ground. God, it's just beautiful. When the sun's really cooking, being in this tunnel, it's kind of nice. Get you some shade. Did you see the little mushrooms that were back in there? If Hazel was here, she'd tell us if we could eat them. <laughs> Still making our way down the trail, and you know, this part just beautiful through this forest here. This is some of my one of the favorite parts I like about the, the AT and also Ben McKay here. Just when you walk through some of these forests like this, it's just lush and green and just pretty. Keep marching on. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right, we have made it to Three Forks. Kind of an iconic spot here at the start of the AT. We're actually on the AT and the Benton McKay Trail. They kind of come together for a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, just a beautiful area. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful. Good noise, good river noise. It is. All right, well, we're headed to lunch. 1.1 1 .1 or something like that? Something like that, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll talk to you all in a little bit. That's the trails. All right, I made a stop here for lunch at the Long Creek Hall. Falls, lots of water. So, that will be a pretty good time. We got about, uh, I don't know, maybe about 7.3 miles to here, and we got about 7.8 more to go. So, and the sun is out, the sky is blue. So we're doing really good. I'll talk to y'all in a little while. Well, hey folks, we just left. Um, Long Creek Falls, beautiful spot, and this is it's the first time that I headed north out of there and went on the Benton, Benton Mackay, and really pretty going that way. You get to see a lot more of the, the falls because it tracks along the, the river, but then it dumped us into a, the forest, back into the forest, and it was very much um, enclosed, if you will much like this right here. It's just pretty cool. You're walking in, you have all this, these large trees, and then you have the lower, the growth that's down at the lower levels, wrapping itself around the trail. And it's really kind of pretty. That's why they get the name, the Green Tunnel for the AT. It applies out here as well. It's the same stuff. Definitely, uh, something worth experiencing right now not too many blowdowns we hit a few before lunch but most of the major stuff had already been cleared and a path cut through it but we just had a couple we had to go around the trail is really in great shape thank you trail maintainers doing a good job 
All right, I'll let you go back to your regularly scheduled program. Happy trails. 12 p.m. I'm still making our way along the trail, but I just want to stop and admire the ferns. What do you think of the ferns, Vern? Well, Fern, I'll tell you, they're everywhere. <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's just a sea. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's special. Anyways. We've got, uh, I don't know, about three more miles to go. Yeah, that sounds about right. About yeah. three miles. It would be kind of where we want to be for the night. So. The, last, the last two miles is about a 15% grade down. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be crying a little bit tonight. Yeah. So when we do our uh, video, when we get to camp, we have to we'll apologize in advance for our whining and crying. Uh, all right. We'll talk to you all a little bit later. Happy trails. And now for another edition of Codger Cam. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hopefully that's looking all right going down the trail. I think it needs to point down just a little bit. Let's try that. What do y'all think out there? Does that look a little better? Yeah. Pointed down that's there? Pretty good. Pretty good? All right. Pretty good. All right. So we wanted to get you guys a look at, uh, this is the, another version of the green tunnel. I love this because this is mountain laurel with a little bit of rhododendron mixed in and it'll kind of come and go depending. But it's just, in the summer it can be really nice, like right now where it helps shade it, cool it down so it's not as hot. But it does create interesting patterns on the ground where you're trying to, you know, look to put your feet somewhere. And when you get these shadows and everything else, you can do like I've been doing the last 45 minutes, stumbling around and missing a few steps. But David's enjoying the heck out of it. He's probably going to film me so I can he can catch me wiping out. A little bit of washout on the trail, but um, I don't know. So far. We've both been pretty happy with that Mackay Trail. The uh, we had one more blow down a little a little ways back, so that makes two that we had to kind of work around today, and that's it. All the other ones had been um, taken care of by trail maintenance people, and there were some big ones. I mean, trees that were you know two feet in diameter, and they had taken care of it. So we're um, Two mile ish ish big on the ish because i haven't looked at it out from the tacoa river bridge and that's the area we're going to camp tonight i think uh it's a really that bridge is really beautiful it's a suspension bridge it goes over the river um there are roads that aren't too far away so we may run into quite a few more people because there's good areas to camp and there's one road that's <clears throat> That's in pretty good shape that you can get to within a um, quarter mile. And then there's another one that's much more, it's much rougher, potholes and things like that. But I've, I've been there with my uh, truck back in the day. And a lot of, you will find a lot of people down there from that other side. And it's maybe, it's, it's less than half a mile from the trail. Not so far you couldn't carry a cooler, if you know what I mean. David's testing out our private beach. Koa River. It's really nice. I'm gonna try barefoot. I think it's gonna be good. Is it cold? Oh yeah. Woohoo! There's all kinds of people. It's like some hammockers over there. Some hammockers there. I bet they're putting up tents. And out over there, you see the suspension bridge. We'll be going across that tomorrow. That's part of the Bent Mackay. It's a great little spot here. Wide water, cool, flowing nice. And give you some more later. Bye. Hey, bye, David. Happy trails. Whoop. All right, well, this is the wrap up for our day one day on the Benton McKay. Trip. Benton McKay, Benton McKay, McKay. You nice tell McKay. us in the comments what it should be. I think it's McKay. So. <laughs>
and we're uh, we're standing on the suspension bridge that goes over the Tacoa River. Uh, I'll show you a little bit better view on uh, the other yeah. way. But it's a wonderful spot. You have wide river, is, you have yeah. this bridge, and lots of people come here and hang out. Plenty of places to be in the shade and cool water. So yeah, yeah. But we've got a great little tent site over there. I'll show that uh, when you go back over to it. But a uh, good day overall. We did about uh, 15 miles. 15.1. 15.1. Didn't have to add the point yes, eight point eight from, from the parking from lot the, to the AT that we did. Yeah. Total about 2,500 and something of a cent. Which yeah. was coming off the couch. It was a good. It was a good workout. There were times when we were stopping and panning, but um, so my arm is my arm is out of practice here. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Lab. Got I know. All the water I know. Going. Really loud here. We'll have to. Uh, We'll yes. test it. Make sure you guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, we'll redo it. We'll redo it. Yeah, but yeah, a good day. Uh, I, I'm a little sore. I mean, coming off the couch and going 15 miles and some of the, the climbs that we had to do. But we've got. Uh, we're gonna do. I think 12 tomorrow, and then we'll have 11 on that last day. So we're just gonna day. be out here for uh, three days. But anyway, it's doing good. It's doing good. It's good to get out. Uh, I was telling Joe I had set my tent up tonight for the first time since I've been on the PCT. The only other hikes I've done is in the Smokies with shelters, so it's good to be good to be back in my tent. And he was in the snow and rain during that too, so right. not yeah. fun. Not fun. Not fun. So, all right. Well, we'll uh, we'll cut it short here so my arm doesn't yeah. go weak on me. We showed the campsite and stuff, and yeah. with this video, you couldn't hear anything. But we'll redo it back there. All right. Take care, y'all. Have a trip. I thought I'd show you a little video of, uh, of the bridge here. I apologize for the sun, but. Uh, Anyways, really cool suspension bridge. You can get a, uh, Don't you think it's cool? I think it is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, it rocks a little bit. It does. Then, uh, maybe tomorrow morning when we're yeah, headed we're going out, because we're going to have the sun will be behind That's us. That's right, yeah. We'll get an even better picture. This, we'll get a different look All right, out. well, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Yeah, it might even be on Codger Cam. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> well, there you go.